there's good news on the back page of the Daily Nation where Mazayo seeks order to stop convenience fee payment on e-citizen. E e I didn't know that the collection of um, e-convenience fee mm -hmm. would actually collect up to 36 billion annually. 36 billion should annually yes mm. i mean if the senate minority leader stuart mazayo um if succeeds in getting the high court to stop a private firm from collecting that 36 billion mm -hmm. then you could be paying at least 100 bob less for your e-citizen services mm -hmm. um convenience either 50 bob 100 bob 50 bob 100 bob mm -hmm. and the senate minority leader claims that um it is unfair and unconstitutional to burden taxpayers with a convenience fee that is channeled to the third party mm -hmm. whose ownership and role remains unknown. The third mm -hmm. party being a certain PESA flow limited. Yes, that PESA flow limited is uh, something that is in question uh, because uh, the Senate, uh, uh, Senate minority leader, Stuart Mazzari, is asking one big question that what's the function? Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, the role and the ownership remains unknown. Uh, it, it be, uh, they need to actually come clear and talk to us about that. Uh, and of course, in its defense, the government uh, says that the company in question is contracted to provide services that are necessary necessary for running the processes on the platform i feel it's That's such fair. a very vague uh, statement though yeah. do they provide software you know or what exactly what does uh, um things that are necessary for the running of the process yeah. running of the platform what does yeah. that mean it's it? just collection you know that's what they do so they provide a service but it's a middleman i feel like it's more like a middleman company because if it's anything that belongs to the government I mean, uh, the, <laughs> the PS, um, for the National Treasury actually did said, uh, said that uh, the money in essence goes to the Treasury. Mm -hmm. um, that PESA flow does not hold any of this cash itself, but mm -hmm. the minority leader um, disagrees mm -hmm. in that this money doesn't show up in our national budget. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how this you know, goes uh, along in the coming few months and yes. weeks, but it would be nice to not have to pay that convenience fee of 100 bob yes. if we don't really know where it's going or rather broken down into 50 shillings as we mm. figure out what PESA flow is mm -hmm. uh, right now also uh Moses Kuria unveils uh Huduma Kenya new contact center and uh it's just exciting how he said to meoga na tumerudi soko tumeoga na tuko soko hiyo kuroga sijui ni nani huyu ameniroga usikubali kuroga it's too early on a wednesday 